Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And every year, Chris Sims comes out with his top 40 quarterback countdown for the upcoming season. While he's not quite done with the 2023, um, he did quarterbacks 9 through 13 yesterday. So he's got the first eight to go. Uh, there's a lot to you know look at with this list. It takes me about 35 minutes to drive to work and... 45 minutes to go from my school to home. Uh, so I've been listening to all the his uh, rankings in the car. Um, and, you know, just a lot that um, a lot of people probably would disagree with it. But let's take a look here. So 2023 Sims top 40 quarterback countdown. So the top eight, I will admit, um, I might agree with um, in no order. Um, the eight quarterbacks, you're going to assume that he hasn't named. Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Trevor Lawrence, Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow. Um, Deshaun Watson, if he goes back to his Houston days, could find his way on there. Matthew Stafford, uh, you know, he dealt with injuries last year, maybe. But on the safe side, that might be the top eight. I don't know what you're going to get from Aaron Rodgers, but, you know, the previous two years before last season, he won MVP, so fine. Um, but 9 through 40, a lot of things I'm going to question. I probably won't even get to them all. Uh, some that absolutely stick out, Davis Mills at 30, and the quarterback that drafted second overall, C.J. Stroud, 37th. I get it. We haven't seen Stroud on an NFL field yet, but we've seen Davis Mills on an NFL field enough to know that he's not an answer as a starting quarterback. Uh, so that was a bit, I don't necessarily understand that. You see Andy Dalton has a 10 spot lead over Bryce Young, first overall pick, 38th, hello kitty, and Andy Dalton, 28th, so... Um, you know, he said he believes Andy Dalton's a decent amount better than Bryce Young right now. He had Anthony Richardson as his fourth rate fourth rated quarterback going into the 2023 NFL draft, beyond Stroud, Bryce Young, and Hendon Hooker. And despite that, he has him as his top rated quarter rookie quarterback in his 2023 countdown. I mean, he mentions that how his running ability uh, would help him get acclimated to the NFL quicker. I mean, I guess I understand that, but, um, you know, when you have him ranked fourth overall and then just assume he's going to have the best rookie season, that's interesting to say the least. Um, what else? Tyler Huntley, 29th. I don't think if teams were to, the 32 teams uh, had their choice at any quarterback for week one, I don't think Tyler Huntley would be one of the first 32 picks. Um, so he seems high. Brock Purdy, he's a tough, I'll, I'll admit he is a tough guy to rank. Um, you know, a lot of people believe that Shanahan offense uh, could have pretty much almost anyone look good. Brock Purdy was Mr. Irrelevant, but having Sam Darno 27th, I mean, that seems a little high as well. Baker Mayfield, 24th. I believe in him a little bit, but last year was not a good season. Had one of the lowest QBRs. Yes, he had that one kind of magical moment uh, where he just joined the Rams and he had that long drive to beat the Raiders. Uh, but, you know, definitely this is probably his last chance to prove he's a starting quarterback in the league. One that a lot of Miami Nation is going to hate Chris Sims about is Tua 21st, the guy who was... An MVP candidate at parts of last season. Yes, he has the concussion issues. Yes, um, he has trouble staying on the field. So does Jimmy G. Um, and he's 22nd. I think two was a pretty decent amount better than Jimmy G. Um, I would never have Mac Jones over Tua. Um, I've always been of the belief that, well, at least last season, that Bailey Zappi could run that offense maybe better than Mac Jones. I mean, I don't want to say for sure, but I don't think they lose much. And Bailey Zappi's not even on the top 40. And he has Mac Jones 20th. Ryan Tannehill 16th. 
Um, you know, Ryan Tannehill's had some pretty good seasons with Tennessee, kind of revitalized his career um, after, you know, not proving much with Miami after they selected him in the draft. But Jared Goff was awesome last season. Um, I can't rank Tannehill above him. I wouldn't rank him over Kyler Murray, but we don't even know when Kyler Murray, if he's even going to play this season. So I'm not going to be that mad about that. But also Tua. You can't, I can't say Ryan Tannehill is a better quarterback than Tua. 15 and 14. So the man who replaced Russell Wilson in Seattle, Geno Smith, had his all-time best season, comeback player of the year. Russell Wilson had the worst season of his career. And... Sims has Wilson one above Geno Smith. Um, you know, let's see. I mean, if Russell Wilson can't get it done with Sean Payton. Another interesting thing was uh, during the Jarrett Stidham episode, so he has Stidham 32nd. He mentioned how, you know, Stidham's definitely going to, you know, he definitely could be a huge threat to Russell Wilson. Um, you know, this season, if Wilson doesn't perform yet, he has Wilson 18 spots over Stidham. Um, you know, it doesn't sound like, uh, the backup's really a threat to the starter according to his rankings. Uh, but otherwise, Daniel Jones, I am a Giants fan. Um, Danny, Danny Dimes definitely, um, played well, played admirably last season. Definitely showed his running ability. Only 15 passing touchdowns, but... Um, you know, you look at his receivers, um, wasn't a great group, and now he's got Darren Waller at tight end. Um, let's hope Waller can stay healthy, added Paris Campbell. But personally, even as a Giants fan, I'm not sure if I would have ranked him 11th. Um, you know, those are just some of the few things that I question on his list, I could go over more. Derek Carr should probably be over Ryan Tannehill as well. Actually, I kind of like where Justin Fields is ranked. He's got to show me more as a passer before I fully believe in him. Um, but otherwise, yeah, he's not too high on the rookies. Um, he he believes Taylor Heineke is better than Desmond Ritter. Uh, by all accounts, Desmond Ritter will be the starting quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons come week one. Uh, but otherwise, some guys that didn't even make his top 40 that I definitely believe should have been considered. Jacoby Brissett. I'm sh very surprised Jacoby Brissett's not in his top 40. Brissett was played very well. He played well, admirably, for Cleveland be while Deshaun Watson was suspended. Um... I know at some points he was top 10 QBR in the NFL. I don't know if he finished there, but it could definitely be argued he looked better with Cleveland than Deshaun Watson did last season. I know Watson was rusty, didn't play all of last season, but still, um, you know, I think Brissett deserves to be one of the top 40 quarterbacks in the league. He's in Washington right now. Um, other guys, I mentioned Bailey Zappi, Jameis Winston, um, Played very well. Played well for New Orleans in 2021. Uh, just did not get his job back after he got hurt. Uh, New Orleans stuck with um, Andy Dalton. Now they have Derek Carr, so he'll be his backup. Cooper Rush won a bunch of games with Dallas while Dak Prescott was injured. But let me know in the comments what you think of Chris Sims' list thus far. Uh, 9 through 40. Uh, what do you think are some of the worst rankings he has on the list? Do you agree with anything from his list? Let me know in the comments. I'll probably just do a short uh, when he comes out with his top eight rather than a whole new video. Uh, but, um, you know, even though I do disagree with a bunch of his rankings, I, I do listen to each of the episodes and hear what he has to say about each of the quarterbacks he ranks. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.